So on the direct side, uh, the company's buying the lead. So, they're, so it's like, hey, man, the company's doing this for you. You need to, you better be doing it. Um, this, sure. You should be doing it. On the retail side, it's, a little bit, it's their book of business. So it's like, hey, sure. they're the ones coming with the, so it's, it's almost like you got to cater a little bit differently. Yeah. I mean, uh, so when, when you're getting pushback from those people and you don't want, obviously, you're going to, company doesn't want to, they're a big hitter, they're bringing in a big sure. business. So how... It depends on what they're giving resistance on, right? So if that big hitter, that big book of business does things a certain way, but we need it to be done a certain way, right? Then it's really just the operation, it's the cohesion. And now we have to decipher who's the person who makes, who puts in charge to kind of set that engine apart or kind of set that engine on its track. And so, for example, if I was dealing with a retail person who had a huge book of business, I feel like I have to cater to this guy because I don't want to lose his business, right? And the company's going to look at me if I lose his business. And so what I do is then I share stories with that person. I do storytelling. There's some about storytelling that enables you to push a point across in a third person point of view, got it? So even if it's make believe, even if it's like a Disney movie, if you break down a Disney movie to its bare bones, it's actually teaching you the kind of the fundamentals of life, right? Like this is the bad guy, they, I forgot the term. It's called like, you know, they paint the picture of the bad guy, the good guy, the girl, right? And there's just that cohesion, but it's done through storytelling. And it, of course there's many different stories. And so if I was dealing with someone who had this huge book of business and they're the big shot in town, right? I'm gonna share with them that, hey, with someone of your portfolio, your size of business, what I have found work with our dominant portfolio, I'm gonna tell you how to do it, right? I'm gonna tell you how to expand your business. Not only that, but I'm gonna ensure that your book of business stays with you, but this is the only way you're gonna be able to do it here. Right? You have a choice, you can go about it your way, but you're gonna meet more friction. Right? You're playing to a different beat. And if you wanna sync to the right beat to where your business is automated, then you need to catch on to this particular rhythm, in essence, right? Switch up the words a little bit. So you're operating at this little frequency, but we're more like this, right? So we're just on a completely different level. You gotta make it work, you gotta make it blend. And so sometimes that requires that you find a happy medium. But really, all it is is you're making them believe they're getting the upper hand, right? Say, okay, I got it, I got it. So if I could do this, then you're gonna be able to do this, right? Okay, cool. All right, let me go ahead and iron this out. And what happens is when they go upon that given path that you're giving to them, they say, hey, you know what? Don't let them, you know, until they bring it up. Say, hey, did you ever check on that one thing? Oh, yeah, 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 right? But you'll find that they'll actually just catch on to the beat themselves and just make it work, right? Sometimes it becomes an issue if we bring it back up. You know, like, hey, I got back to that one thing. He probably forgot about it. Make sense? So people with that book of business, they just have this psychology. It's like the prospect with the good credit. They feel like they warrant the best rate and price, right? Like, ah, I don't even need this loan, <laughs> right? I can get your lowest rate, no fee, no problem. They expect it. And so sometimes we just got to play that role. Oh yeah, let me go and get that for you, <laughs> right? Make them feel like they're driving, but really we're driving them.